Welcome to the second module in CDC's online training series about water access in schools. In this presentation, we will address key steps schools can take to ensure that drinking water in the school building is safe to drink. Determining that drinking water is safe from harmful contaminants is the first issue schools should address when working to ensure that students and staff have adequate access to water throughout the school day. This diagram from the United States Environmental Protection Agency, or EPA, shows how lead gets into drinking water. When water leaves the water utility or public water supplier, it must meet federal regulations for lead, copper, and other contaminants. But if lead is present in service lines to buildings, pipes inside buildings, solder used to connect pipes or plumbing fittings, it can dissolve or flake into the water. Most schools in the United States get water from a public water supplier, also called a municipal water system or utility, and are therefore not required to test the drinking water. However, many states have legislation or other programs to test school drinking water for lead. The EPA has developed guidance for schools to conduct lead and water testing programs called the three T's, which stands for training, testing, and taking action. We will walk through some of the steps outlined in the three T's for schools to consider. Each year, public water suppliers publish a water quality report, also called a consumer confidence report. This report tells you where your water comes from and what is in it. Schools can review the water quality report each year. Schools can also build a relationship with the public water system that serves their facility who can provide important information including if the school has a lead service line. Next, schools can check if there is lead plumbing or fixtures inside the school building. How? Visual inspections can help, but the only way to know if lead is entering water from plumbing parts is by testing samples of tap water. Please continue to Module 2, Part 2.